Good day everyone and welcome once again to Best Recipes with Sharon. The soup today that I'm going to be showing you how to make is tomato and spiral macaroni soup. It'll be one of the easiest that you've ever made. It's amazingly delicious though. And I recently ordered this soup at a cafe and bakery when I was at work and I ordered it for my lunch. I was surprised at how it came and how easy it looked to make. And it was so delicious I came home and figured it out. And this tastes exactly like what I had. So I'm going to share that with you today. So start with a medium saucepan on the stove and add some water to it and place your heat on high and get the water boiling. And sprinkle a little salt in your water. Add two cups of the larger spiral macaroni. And stir that around a little bit with your large spoon. And it's always a good idea to add a little bit of olive oil just so that your macaroni doesn't stick together or stick to the bottom of the pan. It also helps to stir it once in a while while it's cooking. And so cook it according to the package directions and just before al dente, because you're going to be putting this into soup, you want it to be cooked just till it's tender and that's it. Because you don't want your macaroni to go mushy in the soup. Once the macaroni is cooked, drain off the hot water. I like to use the larger ones like this. When you put it in soup, it'll soak up a lot of the flavor. Place your macaroni back in the pot that you cooked it in. Then I add one full can of diced tomatoes with Italian spices. Then take your large spoon and stir that until it's well combined. Now then we'll need to add some vegetable broth. And I measure out about two cups of this and add that to your soup. Now then turn your heat on high and get this soup back up to a steaming simmer. Though the diced tomatoes that I buy have Italian herbs already in it, I still add more. So do a taste test and then add a little bit of Italian herbs. Taste it again and see if you need a little bit more or not. Add just enough to suit your own taste. Now that it's steaming hot, we can serve this up and enjoy a nice bowl full. This recipe makes enough for about three or four people. It does store well in the fridge if there's any leftovers. But the longer you leave it, the more the noodles will soak up some of the broth. So as far as soup is concerned, it's best freshly made. You can sprinkle it with a little bit of Italian parsley with a really light dusting of that and top it off with a cilantro leaf. Serve it with your favorite bread. This one is whole grain. I like 12 grain bread. So that's what I'm serving on the side. And this is really, really tasty. I really enjoy this soup. I was surprised at how easy it is to make and how delicious. So if you have lots of tomatoes around, here's a great way to use them up. And even if you don't can your own tomatoes, grab a can from the grocery store. This is so easy to make and you can make it for one or two people or for a crowd. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, happy eating. Thank you.